So the method I'm going to be using to make this screen print is the screen drawing fluid and screen filler method from Speedball. Uh, basically how it works is you draw on the image that you want to print using this drawing fluid and then once it's dry you basically fill the whole screen up with screen filler and then once that's dry you hit it under some water and the fluid disappears and then you have a screen that just has the shape that's going to print. I found a very old screen from a long time ago when I used to do more silk screening. Um, it's still got some images sort of ghost print burned in there, but for the most part the screen is clean and clear. And the way this rig sets up, I don't know if they still make this the same way. This is also from Speedball, but you used to be able to get a base, which was this sort of piece of chipboard, and you'd buy your screen, which was the same size. You'd attach this little doohickey here so that basically, you know, when you made your print, you could lift the screen up. It would stay still, you'd slide another paper in, you know, make another print. It's attached with these little hinges uh, that you just screwed on back in the day, and that's basically how it worked. So what I did was I took a card that has the image uh, printed on it already from the letterpress plate, which is the fangs, and what I basically want to do is I want to make it so that it's going to glow in the dark and then afterwards it'll be printed on top with a black letterpress print. So I just need this solid shape that's going to be the glow in the dark ink. I set up a registration system using foam tape so that every time I slide a blank card in to here I can just you know, let go of the screen and then print the new print. So with this dummy card in place exactly where the blank cards are going to be, I'm just going to pop it into the register, put the screen down, and I can see through to the shape. And what I'm going to do is take this blue drawing fluid and paint on the entire shape of these teeth everywhere that I'm going to want to print uh, glow in the dark. Alright, so you can see the little mouth that we painted in the blue drawing fluid is now dry. So we're going to put this right here on an angle. It says to do this horizontally, but um, this should work as well. This is screen filler. It's this thick red stuff from Speedball. And basically what you want to do is just pour a little bead of it. And take your squeegee. Just one good pass. Well, that was two, but... <laughs> and that's about it. So, uh, now normally you can take this and you can fill it into your entire screen to block it off. Because what this stuff is going to do, basically, is it's going to block um, ink from going through parts of the screen you don't want it to and having it get onto your paper. But um, because we're just using such a small little section right here, what I'm probably going to do is just take some tape and then tape off the rest of it to save from using all this screen filler, which is a lot more expensive than tape. So as you can see, we got the screen filler here, the little mouth is still blue, and once the screen filler dries, I think it takes about, I don't know if it's like an hour or so, we will hit it with um, some water and you'll see that that blue mouth disappears. All right, it's been an hour and the screen filler is dry. So I've got this in the sink and I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of water. And here's the final screen after washout. You can see that the teeth are just bare screen and everything that's red is the screen filler so when we go to squeegee ink over this onto our cards we're just going to get the teeth coming through with the ink on them so these blank cards are all cut the same size 
they slide right into the registration tabs I've put together. So it'll be the same every time. And we are just gonna charge the screen. So I let the cards dry for about three or four days and then I started up with the letterpress process. Uh, mixed up some black ink, it's oil based what I use and I'm actually printing from polymer plates of designs that I came up with. One is the fangs and then you see the other plate has uh, the Spofford Press logo on it. I'm using this little inking guide I put together. I used matte board and some blue tape and it keeps the brayer at the exact height of the top surface of the polymer plates. So when you ink on the press bed, uh, not only does it not get ink all over the place, but it will only ink the very top surface and not over the edges of the images and the words. So I take one of the cards that already has the glow ink layer dried on it line it up into the registration system on the press bed and then lay the card flat down on the inked fangs and the Spofford Press logo. Just put the blankets down and we roll it through the press. Once I lift the blankets up I just very carefully peel the card off of the polymer plates and I reveal that the registration actually worked and the fangs are lined up with the glow-in-the-dark layer which is directly underneath the black layer. So I hit the finished card with a flashlight just to see if I could get it on film glowing really well and of course it didn't come out very good on the film but in real life you charge these things up for a couple seconds under a light bulb and they are crazy glowing. I had a lot of fun doing this project. It was cool screen printing again and getting that glowing ink to happen and then it was really great putting it on the etch and press and getting the deep impression from the letterpress style printing. So uh, best of both worlds. These cards are a lot of fun and they are on our website.